Hey, so um, it's been absolutely great to hear from you all today. Um, it's been very inspiring hearing past stories and what the fight some of you are doing on a daily basis. Amy, Kevin and Kevin and Dave, it's, it's exceptional what you do. So now I just want to um, run everybody through uh, what IREX is. Um, IREX right now is a number one turnkey solution for smart cities, infrastructures, buildings. Um, unlike our competitors who are mostly API or just facial recognition, at IREX we've got over 20 artificial intelligence modules. We're currently right now number one NIST score. And importantly, we're agnostic to device with all data accessible on a Google-like search platform. So today I'm gonna to show you how we can help find these missing children. So we're gonna do a quick demonstration. So jumping on here right now, this is the IREX platform we have, which is accessible by any device on any browser. You are now looking at the database that was specifically created for missing children and abductors. IREX's partnership and guidance from the NCPTF has enabled IREX to utilize various non-for-profit organizations to enter photos and information of missing children. The database comes out of the box uh, when you facilitate uh, integrates IREX and we're constantly adding and updating uh, the database by working with state, local officials, and also parents as well. So now we'll go into a quick demonstration of IREX where we can search a person's photo. So if we upload um, this photo into our database, uh, which is Amanda Bolden, we get a 100% accuracy rate. So we've uploaded a photo from a file and we already know that we've got Amanda Bolden's information on our database. Um, it's provided with, um, she's, she's been missing for the last week or so. Uh, she's from Tennessee, so forth. And so, as you can see, we've determined uh, this individual is already in our database. And it's provided as a match with all the information we have on her. But we can uh, also search for individuals in our database via their last name as well. So if I search by the last name, for example, I'll search Tillman. We've got uh, Tillman Trinity. If we, if we click on her, we'll be able to see all her information about her. We've got various photos of her as well. Uh, we can upload unlimited amounts of photos and limited amounts of information on each subject. Um, we also have the ability to store um, information on the abductors as well, as well as the children. So right now, um, what I'd like to do is, um, yeah, so for example, this is our abductors. Again, this is all information that we've utilized non-for-profits on. Um, so we ultimately, we can start to get hits if abductors um, ever appear under surveillance as well. So right now, um, I would like to perform our search valence in how we were looking to recover our children. So if we click on our preset campus right now, uh, for demonstration purposes, uh, we've got a facility where we can perform a real-time search of an individual under 18. If you see, we can click on all the various cameras within the facility. You can jump into each camera by just literally clicking or hovering your cursor over the camera. But we'd like to just um, jump into back into our database of missing children. So for demonstration purposes, uh, we're now going to hover over James Walker and we're now able to search events. So by just searching James's face, we can determine when wow. and exactly where James Walker was spotted, which camera <laughs> James was under, the time, the location, and a reminder, this is accessible on any device, on any browser. If we just pause it here, we can see that James Walker has appeared on the third floor. So we know the exact location of where James was last spotted. We know uh, the time and we know the date as well. So this is all in chronological order if and when this person last appeared under surveillance. Um, so this is obviously fantastic when we are able to do a real time search when an individual has gone missing, when time is of the essence. Um, on the flip side of this, 
we can search alert, we can receive alerts. So if we go into our, our alarms, when we've got a database of individuals of the missing children and possibly abductors, we can receive alerts whenever they appear under surveillance. So for example, demonstration purposes, we've got our RX team and we're receiving alerts every time they appear under surveillance. So this is obviously a very powerful tool. What can the alerts can be accessed on any device, any device on any platform, and it can also be shared on emails as well. Again, uh, this is just our staff, uh, just for demonstration purposes. We are we are tailor our demos um, to particular industries as well. Um, but uh, in a nutshell, this is how we are planning to find missing kids and how we are locating missing people at this moment in time. So now I'd just like to, um, we can always have, if you're interested in IREX, you can just go at hello at irex.ai, shoot us an email. Uh, but now I'd just like to give the platform back to Dave Luna from Luna Global Networks to talk about our partnership and Kevin Metcalf as well from the National Child Protection Task Force.